Hello everybody, welcome back. I made another advent calendar. Um, first, let me apologize for the background noise. Our air conditioning broke yesterday, so we have fans and the windows open. I'm in South Florida, so it's really hot. Um, I wasn't planning on making two of these advent calendars, but the other person that really wanted one, I would be honored for her to have one of these in her house. So um, I reached out to her and she was like, yes, absolutely, I want one. So this is probably most likely my last one for, for this year. I do intend on making a Christmas one. Um, so this is the one embellishment that doesn't fit. I had the same thing happen in the other one. I made a really cute box and it said something like, when you see the ghost, don't fear, your spooktacular gift is right here. And then I made it in a separate box. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I still have to put the little tissue paper in here and box it up nicely, but I wanted to show you before I did that. So for this rosette, I stitched, first I scored it, then I folded it on the score lines and then I kind of flattened it out and stitched it. The reason why you wanna do that is because sometimes when you stitch, and then try to fold it after, it wants to fold on the stitch lines. So I always make sure I pre-fold before I put my stitch on, or before I sew on there. These little letters are from um, one of those like tack boards when you stick the little letters in the board. I'll show you the side so you can see the dimension here in this one. And I made three brooms. I'll show you these quickly because I did share these on my Instagram page. There's a little bat bow here. And then this is a bag topper. I This is a new die from Tim Holtz. I love it. It comes in two different sizes and it has, it gives it like a score line. So you give it a little bit of dimension. I absolutely love it. I wrapped, so the person that this is for, um, I tried to incorporate some of her collection and so there are elements that are not at all Halloween and I wanted to include it in here. So I made sure every single item that I made had, had something from her collection, which I thought was pretty fun for her to kind of see. And then this is the bag topper. Oh, there's little hidey things down there. This is the bag topper. I did like the other one a jar of sequins, a dar jar of little bitty bows. These are brads. These are the only things I didn't make. And this little jar of super cute skull heads looks so cute in there. I love, I don't think I would ever use these because they just sound amazing. And they're just fun to hold. And the texture of this glass is really nice. I need to buy more of these. I got them in Tuesday morning, but all of mine closed. So I have to look online. I don't know if this one was in here yet. Um, I did these paper clips. Again, I tried to incorporate her collection in here. So there's this heart is not Halloween. This yellow is not Halloween. This paper back here is not Halloween. This is a little book. Um, this one is this heart is from the, her collection on this one. Oh, and the paper, the flag. So it, you can see these are very Halloween-y, <laughs> but still um, very like light and colorful. I used a lot of color in here. So it's very, you're just, just don't be afraid. I used multiple collections. This is a little mini banner. I'll try to give you a little up close. This little star is from one of her collections. Um, I stitched, this is the Halloween paper from uh, Cray Paper, the one with the lines. And then I stitched before I, I, I stitched it when it was on the paper and then I cut it afterwards. And I left a little bit of the white so it looked a little bit like a die cut. And this is actually from like a very, very old collection of hers. So I did try to uh, make it so she can kind of have fun and pinpoint. This is on by a little chain. This is my favorite die cut on our chipboard of this collection. I said I need to buy like 50 chipboards literally just so I can have 50 little bats. Um, this I think is my favorite part about this entire calendar. This I could look at forever and I hope that's what she does too because there are so many little treasures on here. If you just look around, I I'm hoping she'll say, oh wow, look at that little bead or oh look at that. And I really wanted to pull in a little bit of her personality so I picked this bead um, because to me that screams her and I attached him by his collarbone again and around his waist. And then I put it this one. So even on the back, he has a little bit of danglies from the back. There's some spiders on here. 
I just love how this came out. I just layered it, layered it. And when I was making it, I made some of the candy corns the right way and some the wrong way. So I put some upside down and some right side up because I thought that was more fun. Like candy corns never all the same direction. It's all shaken up in the bag. So um, I hope she likes that. This, this was um, an, a something new. Oh, I'm glad I'm doing this video. I have to put the rest of this on here. Um, but she's gonna hang this up and it, it has to go against the wall. Otherwise the bats just wanna to slide all around. But it's a little bat banner and I hung them alternating which way. So when it hangs, it kind of looks like they're flying in all different directions. And I hung this little bat from the bottom. There's little dangles on all of them. These itty bitty bats, I love them just for a little touch. This piece of chipboard is actually from Oh, what's that collection? Wild Heart. So th that's not Christ or Christmas. <laughs> that's not Halloween at all, and it still looks awesome there. I hid, or I hid the little bats on each one of these to kind of pull it all in together. So oh, clearly I need to put a hang hanger on that. And that's it. The last thing is right here. I made her some flares. So thank you again for watching. I cannot wait to send this out to her. I also made her kids these little baggies as thank you gifts. Um, I was gonna make her something, but I'm like, it's more fun for the kids. And she's got this whole box. So I cannot wait for them to get it. Thank you everybody for watching. Happy Halloween. And I'll see you next time.